Hi everybody, my name's Somi. I'm a lover of the sea and everything in it, of course, and I'm a professional scuba instructor. Welcome to my channel, you guys. Okay, so I'm super excited because I did one of these YouTube DIY tutorials and it's about how to make a dome for your action camera. You probably know these shots, they look incredibly, incredibly cool. If you want to see the results and hear some tips and tricks on how to actually, you know, use it, just keep on watching. When you go on YouTube and you type something like DIY dome for your GoPro or action camera, you get a whole bunch of results. And basically you can split them into two categories. You have the balloon version and you have the screw glue and a lot of stuff version. Uh, since I'm not super technical, I totally went for the simple balloon version. So uh, I will not do the whole tutorial here because there's plenty to find on YouTube. I've linked uh, the ones underneath which I took inspiration from want to see how to make one for yourself just click any of the links underneath uh, they're done very very well thank you for that so a few positive and negative things uh, I noticed about this DIY dome one of the negative things is it moves a lot uh, because it's basically it's just hanging on a piece of balloon Another thing I noticed is because the um, circle of the dome is far uh, smaller than uh, the regular, let's call it regular one uh, we bought, sometimes you see the sides of your DIY dome in the frame of the picture you've taken. Uh, another minus point I have to say is I found that there was water inside my dome and I don't think that's because the DIY uh, lets you make dodgy domes. It, I think it has everything to do with how I put it together. Again, I'm such a nitwit and such a klutz, so it was probably my fault. And if I spent a little bit more time on it, probably it would be super watertight. Now, positive things then. What I really enjoyed is if you use the dome from security camera, it is small. It is tiny. You can just stick it uh, in your bag and take it anywhere. That's like awesome. Uh, another super positive thing is once you know how to do it, you can assemble this thing in like super speed. So if you have your dome and your balloon and a bunch of, you know, elastic bands, which you just carry in your bag, you put it together in under like five minutes. And the best thing, of course, about it is that it basically costs nothing. Uh, it's super cheap, super, super cheap. So you can break one or two. So all in all, I would say this DIY dome with the balloon is super, super cool. And the shots aren't that bad either. So let's move on to some tips and tricks on how to actually take good pictures with this thing. If you hold your camera like on the surface uh, and waves catch it, then of course you get the nicest effect. This curvy thing on your picture and that's what you want. It also means this thing is moving. So stabilize it underneath while you take the picture or hold it uh, in a certain position. Another tip I would say is don't worry about the corners or if you see the circle if you use your pictures for Instagram it's a square frame anyway now a tip on actually how to take pictures with this thing is I would say because you're trying to catch a perfect moment with a wave and a curve is to use burst mode on your camera so it takes like I don't know like a hundred pictures in three seconds or use a time-lapse mode and put it like in the smallest interval possible so maybe like half a second or like one second so it just keeps shooting and hopefully you catch the shots you want if you take like a hundred photos hopefully you have like two useful pictures for Instagram or for your website well, that's it. I really enjoyed making it. I'm very excited about the results. I can't believe I have like a 10 lira dome. That's like amazing. Uh, if you're gonna make one for yourself, let me know down in the comments or anywhere on social. Share your picture. Looking forward to seeing all of your stuff. All right, that's it from me. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.